I like Antron here, my Toyota teammate. You know he's going to be uh, smooth and steady on the starting line. I think the winner's going to come out of one and two here. Hart was the first car in. Brown was the first car to leave. Look at this down to the stripe, but the wind light will shine for Antron Brown. 376-0 at 319 miles an hour, defeating Steve Torrance's 377-4 at 331 miles an hour. Antron, you've been screaming, you've been dancing. Your Toyota teammate, J.R. Todd, in the booth just said that the rest of this field should fear you if these wind lights keep turning on. How true is that statement? We just got to keep working. We got to keep working. Amanda, you know, all the glory goes to God. We've been working hard, never stopped the faith, and we've been working on some new programs. And it's working out, and it's working out. Brian Crotty, Mark Oswald, Brad Mace, all the Maco, Lucas Oil, Hank's the first Toyota Series XM, FVP coming on board, FDC Coffee. All these people came in and they believed in us. And uh, to get in the winter circle for all of our Maco distributors and the Maco, we love them. But you know what? My wife's at home recovering from surgery. I love you, baby. And Ariana on the cruise ship, keep cruising. I'm coming to see you, baby girl. And my boys at home and all of our families, we love this. And Toyota, thank you for that map because they told us the track was better. Give a little bit more. She still cut off on the big end, but we were surging. And when that light came on, I was like, woo! Thank you, God. What a day. The Nitro Funny Car Final as we sit in Tim Wilkerson's car and now look down for the Lucas Oil Chopper. Blasting off, it is gonna be Matt Hagen outpacing everybody. Hagen goes 394.3 with a speed of 326 miles an hour. Wilkerson a respectable 396, but Hagen a 64 light. Chad Green was way in there with an 041 reaction time. John Force was 78, not a huge factor here, but Matt Hagen Two races in a row, these guys were flawless. I hope Dickie Venables is still listening at the starting line because all Matt Hagen can talk to up here is what a race car he had today. Dickie said that you drove your butt off today. You told us earlier this morning that winning this much and having success at an early season allows you to relax. But you also said you have to stay humble to these race cars. What did your funny car teach you today? Well, I had all the pressure because Tony just won and he come over and he's like, you better win this one so we could double <laughs> up. So, you know, no pressure, right? But uh, I can't just say enough about this Haas automation car, but my team, my guys, I mean, they put a hell of a race car underneath me and it's just it's so much fun to drive I just I'm really having the time of my life and it's just it's awesome I mean it's just the adrenaline the wind lights coming on uh, these lanes and four wide I mean it's crazy but uh, we got it done in Vegas and uh, I'm not going to get drunk tonight because I got a test tomorrow but I'm gonna make sure T Tony Stewart gets drunk tonight <laughs> Derek Kramer lane three, Christian Quadra lane four. Quadra seeking a first career victory. He made the final here at the four wide, losing to Erica Enders last year. Christian Quadra shoots the bombs out of the tree again. He's 0-16. They get to the finish line stripe and the win line comes on for Dallas Gladio Branham. Brian Lone just said you were the championship leader in this class, and you knew the talent that was around you, including Christian Quadra, who's just been deadly on the tree all day. You've stuck in lane one. How did you set your mindset ahead of this race? Oh, just going into this one, I just knew I had just had to hit all my shifts. And, you know, I've got an awesome car right here, the KB Titan, Rad Torque Systems, Summit, uh, Silver State. Um, this car is bad to the bone right here. I mean, you can't, you can't get any better than this. I really like to thank my wife, you know, she's, uh, she almost, feel, you know, she's been in Vegas too long. I think the, the sciences are getting to her a little bit. She's been a little under the weather, but you know what, she stuck through there. Oh, I love, you know, my whole family's here, everybody's here. Um, but, you know, we've had a lot of loss in racing uh, lately between, you know, Jerry Bickle and then uh, uh, what or Greg's son's basically fiance. Her mom passed away on Monday. So this one's for you, Tamara. Then uh, you're racing with us, Tina. Done. He's like ready, right? Let's get after this. They're in. Four across the top. Light the four bottom bulbs. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. There's a green light start. Watch the scoreboards and guess what? Tony Stewart is an NHRA national event winner. He goes 532 and wins it. Last year, he lost by two ten thousandths of a second. This year, he won. In lane number four, Brian Howe, his wife, is down there, as well as his son. 
who is a racer in his own right. Four pretty good race cars coming at you right here. One of them gets to go home. The Las Vegas four wide nationals winner. We'll rev them up. We'll roll them in. And we'll turn them loose. Red light start, Jake Guadagnolo, he's out of here. And the other three, boom for Brian. Wind light for Gordon. Doug Gordon goes 5-5-0, 266 miles an hour and wins it. Ulf Leanders goes 5-53, and he will be scored the runner-up. Jake Guadagnolo let go too soon by 2-hun. He red lit away. Welding, pumps, regulators, filters, fueling champions. He's going to have to beat one of the best 50-time national event winner, Jeff Taylor. The handicap is a biggie. Almost two Mississippis going to the blue car. And then that white pro-stock machine with an automatic transmission will be on the chase. Taylor looked like he rocked in the beam a little bit down there when he pulled in and stayed. They both get away on the green, and Jeff Taylor just dug himself a hole he's not going to get out of. Travis Gusso wins it, 879, 154. Look at him celebrating down on the starting line. His first national event win, Travis Gusso came to Vegas. He say, came, he saw, he qualified number one. It's gonna go to Burton. About the time his front wheels are coming down, Trey Vetter is gonna see a green light and a little blue cobalt will be on the chase. Their stage, here's the countdown, green, and green both drivers get away from this end burden out in front he's looking back over his shoulder trey vetter closing in closing in but he can't close the deal 957 on a 957 and look at the burton family going crazy mom and dad were both competing here this weekend but it's going to be brad like kyle back to back dave bridgewater's car down there that's his dad and mom standing behind the car his dad's got his hand up and he's not holding a cell phone he's holding a wind meter because they are always gathering data, especially since they're gonna be back here next weekend for the big Lucas Oil event. Rizzoli off to a red heart, hot start this season. Handicap head start goes to the Dodge and here comes Cox. The SS 396 trying to track down the little 340 Mopar. Coming down to the finish line stripe, watch for the wind light, it says it's gonna be Rizzoli doing it again. It's a double breakout. John Gray had the reaction advantage, got the stripe, and runs under by two hun. Kyle Rizzoli dropped the nose, runs under by one hun. Seventh out if you want to get technical, Kyle Rizzoli. Oh, wait, wait, I've been wanting to say this. The two Utes, get it? The two Utes? Oh, come on. Remember my cousin Vinny? What is a Ute? This guy from Utah. The two Utes, down to the finish line they go. 906, give the win to Travis Theobald. He picks up national event win number two. Sonoma, California, a year ago. He picked up his first. Las Vegas right here. He picked up his second. 10.05 seconds from now, we're going to know who the first time winner is. We just saw in Supercomp, both drivers hitting the tree solid. And how about this? Tom Carlson runs dead on three. The target is 10.05. He runs 10.053. I mean, it's only two times, but still, every streak starts someplace. So the blower car is dialed 640. The turbo car 630. A tenth of a second difference. Here comes the tree. Both drivers get away on the green. The twin turbo small block trying to close in. The blower and big block trying to hold on. It's going to be three. 4-3, Mike McBrayer remains undefeated in final round competition. He goes 641, 212 miles an hour. Then they Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest in drag racing content and some awesome old school races. Make sure you check out the Competition Plus Power Hour with the Monday morning racer Lee Craft and Slammin' Sammy Smith every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter channels. It's easy to stay in the know. Download the CompetitionPlus.com mobile app. Sign up for push notifications to get notified of breaking news and the latest feature stories and videos. It's a free download at the iTunes Store and Google Play.